The Forest Detective, case number 21. Lying under a tree. Well, I found a seed. I'm gonna go plant it. <laughs> Come on up, pretty sprout! <laughs> However, the seed didn't sprout. Yep. No. Please grow! But once again, nothing. Again, no luck. None of the planted seeds grew. No matter how many we planted, the strange seeds wouldn't sprout. The question is... What kind of seed is it? I put them in a nice sunny spot. I gave them water. And I made sure they got a lot of fresh air. So why won't they sprout and grow? Hmm, I'm totally stumped. I don't think they're your typical seed. Where did you get them? Under some tree. In that case, let's go there. Oh. Move out! positive that all the seeds on the ground here have fallen from this tree. Oh. Oh! But this tree is... Apparently, it was an oak tree. And an oak tree seed is an acorn. But the seeds under the tree were definitely not acorns. So then, did these seeds come here from somewhere else? Oh! oh. Hey, the seed just fell from this tree! I saw it too! The seed of an oak tree is an acorn. But if these fell from this tree, then maybe they're not seeds. But something else that grows on it. But I don't see them anywhere on the tree. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's a rhinoceros beetle! Molly, rhinoceros beetles don't grow on oak trees. Uh, hold on, I just had a thought. What if they're an insect's eggs? Eggs? Um. Yeah, we thought an apple snail's eggs were berries last time. Uh -huh. Hey, rhino beetle, is this one of your eggs? Definitely not. Hey, Stag Beetle, is this maybe one of your eggs? My egg? No. We questioned every insect that lived on the tree, but they all said no. Mm. Uh, maybe they're not eggs. Or maybe there was an insect that we overlooked. Uh. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. The twig on the tree is moving! Look up there! What? Oh. Baba, I don't see anything moving. <laughs> no, Pete! I saw that twig move as plain as day! The wind must have moved it. Uh, uh -huh. The wind wasn't blowing then! <laughs> I swear I saw it move! Oh! The twig just disappeared! <laughs> Baba, oh, snap uh, out of it! Uh, Twigs don't just disappear! Oh. Hey, Pete! Take a look at this! Huh? Uh -huh. Baba's right! It... it disappeared! The twig was definitely there before! Maybe the twig came to life and moved! No, no way! Uh -huh. ah! uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Baba, mm -hmm. boost me up! You got it! Baba! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. That's strange. 
I could have sworn I saw the twig moved on its own. Was I wrong? Whoa! Look, it's moving again! The twig's moving! That, that's a... The twig up there just laid an egg! Oh, or did it go number two? Apparently, the twig wasn't a twig after all. It had antennae, a long thin body like a bamboo shoot, and six legs. It was a stick bun. We like to eat tree leaves, but if we sense danger, we spread out our legs and make like a twig in order to protect ourselves. Oh yeah, and unlike other insects, we don't have wings. And this wasn't a seed. It was a stick bug egg that looked like a seed. I'm so very sorry I mistook you for a seed. I hope you hatch safely. <laughs> the stick bug's egg spent the winter under a leaf. In the spring. A baby stick bug finally hatched out of the egg. The baby stick bug will shed its skin and become an adult. It will disguise itself as a twig, and like its mother, will lay many eggs that look like seeds. The mystery is solved!